Hello there, this is going to be your reading for April 1st through April 15th, 2021. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back, subscribers. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. I have clients all around the world at this point, so it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. The link below to my website has all the information there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. Um, you can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials page and you'll see that I do offer a 15% discount for your very first session with me um, or your first uh, distance energy session. So you could take advantage of that. I hope that's helpful for you. And I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for April 1st through April 15th, 2021. I have already fully shuffled. So let's just get into your messages. Wow, Leo. Okay, how exciting. Starting out with the Nine of Cups. This is the Wishes Fulfilled card. So I feel like things are really starting to line up and come into place for you. Um, this could be in regards to any area of your life. I am tuning into Leo in love, in regards to love um, when I'm shuffling. So for a lot of you, this could mean happiness in love or happiness in partnership or connection, emotional fulfillment, something like that, okay? Um, but if you look at this character, it's kind of like uh, he's he's happy all on his own, doing his own thing. I say he, but this is, you know, a general reading. Nothing is gender specific. Um, but this character is just happy, alone in his splendor, doing their thing. And I do feel that's kind of the energy that you have right now. And I've got that with the powerful Wheel of Fortune card. So fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor. Um, money issues could be, you know, coming to light and becoming um, easier and more free. Um, not feeling so heavy or burdened by financial stress. I feel that um, quite strongly, actually, and the Wheel of Fortune to me is kind of the clock of the universe, so it's a reminder that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're not late for anything. The lessons that you've been through, the things that you're building towards, this is where you're supposed to be. So I really love that because this just tells me, take a moment, Leo, and just acknowledge how far you have come and how much you have been through in the past six months to a year. There's been a lot of growth, a lot of challenges, and sometimes it helps to just take a moment to just sit back and acknowledge that for yourself and congratulate yourself a little bit for the hard work and the lessons that you've put in because I do feel things are, are really moving in a very positive light for you. I've also got the Page of Pentacles out here, so this is a new offer coming in for you. Um, for a lot of you, this can be a love offer. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I feel like, you know, the offer may come in a little slow or small, but I really love the Page of Pentacles energy because it gives um, a lot of opportunity for growth and expansion. Okay, so keep that in mind that, you know, things may be a little slow at start with this person. Um, if that's not resonating, then this can also represent a new job offer or a new income potential for you. And again, the offer may be a little smaller than you would hope or wish for, but know that there is room for it to grow and expand here. You know, earth energy typically moves a little bit um, slower, but there's a reason for that. It moves slower because it's really building a foundation here. Okay, I'm going to take those. Okay, we have four cards come out here all together. Interesting. Okay, we've got Queen of Wands and the Death card here. So I'm feeling this Queen of Wands energy is yours. With this offer coming in um, as the Page of Pentacles that I was just mentioning, I feel what's really important for you is to just allow it. Really be in that receiving mode. Um, if it's not something that uh, you feel is enough or big enough or clear enough, then try to let that go and really just receive what is being brought to you because it's helping to move you through a cycle here. 
um, with this death card. Uh, you also could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but the death card is really an important card in the deck because it allows the ending of the old so the birth of the new can come in. If you notice back here, look at this bright sun trying to peek up over the horizon. So again, allowing this cycle, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is pushing you forward in a new cycle as well. So with new cycles, we have to let go of the old. It's just part of it. So your job here, Leo, as the Queen of Wands is to really allow, really be aware of receiving. The more aware of receiving you can be, um, the more stable your energy is going to be. So I feel like if you're fighting it a little bit, you may have a little bit of the fight or flight energy popping up for you. So be aware of that, not to get enrolled into it. You know, typically we will have fear pop up because we are growing, because we are expanding. So the fear coming up is not saying this is wrong or this is bad. It's showing you where you're growing. So one thing you can really do if you do have something like fear come up is become curious with it. Where is this coming from? You know, what would I do differently if I wasn't feeling afraid or if I wasn't, you know, doubting or questioning? And I feel this Knight of Wands is kind of stepping in as a little bit of um, a test for you to be aware of that. Letting go of any fight or flight energy and remaining in the more grounded, stable earth energy that's coming through for you. I've also got the star card here, which is very healing, very rejuvenating. I feel this is more on like a deeper soul level for you because you are kind of going through a deep lesson here. You know, things are good. Things are moving in your favor. Your job is to really sit back and receive. Try not to fight things too much. And that's really going to be very, very healing for you. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. So I've got Aquarius out here. I've got Scorpio out here. A lot of other fire energy. So you could be dealing with another Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries. Okay, I also mentioned uh, Earth signs earlier as well with that Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, interesting. So with the star card, actually, before I get to that, I had another message pop in here around this death card. If you look, I do feel the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands is your energy. So you're kind of being asked, you can either kind of like I was saying, focus on receiving and be more relaxed, or you can fight it. And I feel if you can just balance out the two of these, that's going to help this cycle, this death card, move through faster to the healing phases, okay, with the star card here on the other side. Next up, we've got four of pentacles and five of swords. So just make note, Leo, I do feel things are moving positive for you. Things are shifting in a good way. And with that, it's okay to be a little bit protective of your time and energy here with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to want to retreat a little bit within to really settle out or feel out how you're actually feeling about this. So if you're a cross watcher for Leo, I feel if they pull away a little bit, if your Leo pulls back a little bit, try not to worry too much and know that they are needing that space and time to get clear on what it is that they want. And with the five of swords, you know, this can be a little bit of a battle or a disagreement, um, can be a little bit of pride and ego getting in the way. So again, I just, I feel this message is direct for cross watchers. Let your Leo have a little bit of space. Try not to challenge them right now or push them too much because I feel like it will have the opposite effect. If you just kind of let them be, let them sort it out as they will, they always do, that is gonna allow them to come back stronger and more clear here as the emperor, okay? So the emperor is like solid, reliable, long-term um, 
you know, visionary does not really invest into things that are short term or not worthwhile. So that could be what your Leo is really working out here or Leo, I'm speaking to you. That's what you could be working out here is getting to this emperor energy. Sometimes we need to retreat a little bit, especially as you're going through such a big life cycle and change right now. And you've got four major arcana cards out here. So those always bring growth and transformation, okay? So I've also got Aries energy here with the Emperor, but I'm really feeling this is more, it's like graduating from the page energy to the Emperor energy. Like that's how much, Leo, I feel like you're going to be growing in the first couple weeks of April. So with that, you may need a little bit of downtime and you may feel a little more triggered by others, a little more defensive, a little more argumentative. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just because you have a lot bubbling up that needs to be released on the surface. Wow, I really like this um, reading for you. So again, for those of you who are single, I feel there is going to be a new offer coming in for you while you're going through this kind of cycle. And this new relationship is going to help push you forward. You're, you're going through a lesson on receiving and really allowing and for those of you who are already involved with a Leo, I feel because of this growth that your Leo is going through, they may need to pull back a little bit. So try not to freak out. Try not to overcompensate with effort from your side. Try to just really focus on yourself for the time being and allow them to get clear on this because I feel like they're going to come back stronger and more clear if they have that proper space, okay? if there is any last message Woo, okay you've got two wow let's see what they are beautiful leo you've got listening and manifestation Ooh, that listening card has a lot of energy packed around it kind of what i've been talking about you're really being asked to tune into yourself to trust that you're going through a big shift right now. And with that, the manifestation happens if you're able to just stay in your energy and stay really clear. So remember how powerful you are, Leo. I mean, really, you, you are some of the most powerful manifestors from what I have seen. So keep up with that. Keep yourself clear um, because things are definitely moving in your favor right now. And with that, we got to just let go a little bit of the old close out some chapters or cycles so you can continue moving forward with that manifestation. Beautiful. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. See what we've got for you. Okay, oh, I love it. Leo, you've got squirrel always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Isn't that true? Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Ooh, I love this. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. That's when you may need to retreat a little bit. Okay, if you are feeling distractions, you are cheerful, your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Yes, we need you in that bright, powerful Leo energy. I love it. Kind of wraps it all together. So again, squirrel, always prepared Leo is your spirit animal message. I hope this resonates for you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, your Jupiter, really any placement of Leo. Uh, thank you for the comments below the video. I do love reading those. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for over three years now. So the link below to my website, uh, you will 
will find all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits. Definitely read the testimonials page. And you'll see I offer a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you. And I think that's it, Leo. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to April, and I will see you guys back here for the first half of April readings. Take care, or the second half of April readings.